Hey, welcome back to my channel, The Pisces Way, a place for Pisces made just for Pisces. I do apologize if it's a little dark because I cut the lights off. Um, because I want the natural lighting to show, you know, shine through. It's so it's so nice and bright, and it's always good to have natural sun lighting. So we're gonna stage our space and get right into it. Okay. Hold on. I don't know, it just be some about these angles. Just gotta be right. I don't know, y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, look good. Okay. <laughs> and like I said, if it's a little dark, you know, got the natural lighting shining, shining in. I hope y'all can still see, be able to see the cards, but let's go ahead and stage our space. I power archangels, ancestors, guides, and goddesses. Please protect me and my best feet. Pisces, as we take it to this video, please protect our energy from any unwanted cells while the entity. Please give us the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guide us with your wisdom always. Amen. Thank you, our space. Where's my card? I heard they go there hiding. Mm. They're like hiding. I want me to use these. But why are they hiding? Y'all hiding? Somebody's hiding from you, Pisces. Um, or somebody needs to say something to you and they having a hard time saying it. Or they're hiding the truth or they're trying to hide something or cover up something. I don't know. Um, but we could be dealing with a Taurus because specifically because I heard Taurus. Um... They could be trying to hide a Taurus from you. <laughs> Shit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Y'all, my cough getting a little better. I got my Gatorade. I gotta go get some more. I do apologize in advance. The girls are here. Uh, but Noelle is in her room. In her crib. She's on punishment right now. Her butt just like to do too much, so she's on the punch machine and watch the TV. Oh. It should be quiet, you know. No, I like to do her own little thing. I don't think, oh, y'all still can see the cards a little bit. It should be good. I also feel like I got my lighting turned down too. That's another reason why I can see dark to poly to me, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. <coughs> for a Pisces made just for a Pisces. So sit back, relax, and let's get the tea. Let's see what's going on with our Pisces. Power, power, what's going on? What's, what's the energy for a Pisces? Y'all know what? Yesterday I seen this. I seen the four of... I get closer. I seen the four of cups yesterday while I was taking a shower. I feel like the energy, the energy is somebody reg regret not saying something. Wow, look at that, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Somebody's regretting not saying something. Maybe they say something that they should have said, refusing. Or they're regretting not turning something away or regretting not leaving something alone when they should have. Or, like I said, this could be you, Pisces. Um... I feel like somebody regretting not saying something to you. They hold it up. They held on to something for way too long. For longer than they were supposed to. Because <laughs> I'm here. Say what you need to say. I don't know. I just feel like. I'm just hitting on like. Somebody here. 
had a lot of secrets or a lot of obstacles. It's like somebody here is like they want to be strong and they was trying to be strong, but they didn't know how to. Maybe you're somebody Pisces where a lot of people confide in you or somebody, somebody here. Like, I feel like a lot of people confide in you. Maybe they talk to you. I mean, Pisces is the most intuitive um, sign in the Zodiac. But I mean, maybe somebody here was, was trying to get your insight on something here, trying to get your knowledge and trying to talk to you about certain things. But I, I, or maybe you can be, maybe they tried to say something, but then they didn't. Like, okay, maybe they tried to get something out, but then they didn't. Because I'm having a hard time even getting this out. But I also feel like, um, they failed to tell you how they felt about you. Are they true feelings? Okay, this not even might not even just be about you. This could be just true feelings, and all. They fail to tell you that part. They fail to tell you what really matters. But they holding on to this. This is a burn to them. I'm somebody here trying to play hard to get or are they trying to play like they don't love you as much as they really do they trying to hold it back they trying to hold something back you could even feel like you could be even offering somebody something you feel like they trying to turn it down <coughs> you feel like they're uncompromising Why I'm getting deliver us from evil, Eva? Ooh, deliver us from evil. Okay, that could resonate. But I'm getting deliver us from evil. You know how she was a heart, like she was really on their ass. If y'all ever watched that movie, Deliver Us from Eva, and she was like on their ass. Like, um, I keep getting when he was like, man, she was like. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was uncompromising. She was like, um, she was just getting on his ass because she was a health inspector and she was criticizing his restaurant. And she was just like really getting on his ass. You know, because um he was like, Why you gotta be so damn uncompromising? And I keep hearing her say that. I feel like this <laughs> somebody could feel like that about you, okay? They could feel like you deliver us from evil. Like you know, she was really like firm okay but she had her reasons why she was firm and she ended up getting the job because she was firm okay because she stood on what she stood on and made her more respectable all that all that pisces okay all that i feel like this person feels like you're eva okay if y'all ain't never watched deliver us from eva with uh <coughs> i'm finna say taraji he passed t uh oh all right, because I'm getting some other shit. I'm hitting on some other shit. Um, if y'all ain't never watched Deliver Us from Eva um, with Gabrielle Union, y'all should go check that out. Or at least just go on YouTube and look up a, a little clip, you know, show the part when, when she was on their ass or whatever. You know, she was, but it, you really would have to see the whole movie to understand it because you probably won't get it right off the bat. But she was... She wasn't uncompromising. She was just a leader, okay? She And she was just very passionate. She was passionate about her sister. She was passionate about her family. She was just very passionate, and she was a go-getter, okay? She wasn't playing around with nobody. And I feel like that's how you guys are. You like, I'm not... Some of y'all had like a... If y'all don't got a, a strong grandmama that y'all that raised y'all or was in y'all life, then y'all got like a, um ancestor. That's around y'all that do not play. Like, this woman is strict. Like, she don't play. Like, she one of them. You know that big. I'm getting big mama house energy. You know how she like her family together, but she organized. And she one of them grandmamas that will smack you right in the middle of church. Okay? Right in the middle of church. And, and, and apologize to the Lord for um interrupting the prayer. Okay? That's that grandmama. You better not dare disrespect her. You feel me? Like, I feel like that's how you are. Okay? Or this how somebody sees you, but they see you like this, and they respect you for being like that, but 
it's angles to it. Like, they know you're loving. They know you're kind. They know you're gentle. You're compassionate. I mean, we're fucking Pisces, okay? Pisces is love. The most lovable sign in the zodiac. Now, I do feel like whether... Well, there, there are certain Pisces, whether you're lovable or you're, like, it's whether you're lovable or you're not lovable. It's no in the middle, I feel like, with, with, like, with Pisces. Because I feel like it's where people, and this is where it crosses. Because people take advantage of the kind and generosity, the simpleness of the Pisces. See, you don't need to do too much with Pisces. They gentle already. They love and they compassionate already. It be the little stuff. You feel me, motherfucker? You ain't got to do no backflip. Pisces going to love you anyways. But see, when you be loving and gentle and caring and kind, people start to take advantage of that. And they're like, oh, well, I could treat Pisces any kind of way. They going to love me anyways. Oh, I don't got to get Pisces done for Valentine's Day. It go from, oh, I'm going to get Pisces a, bu a bouquet of, of balloons or some flowers. And then you're like, oh, well, thank you. You know, even though in back of your mind, you're like, well, you know, you know how you would treat yourself. You had you hold yourself at a higher standard. You know how you would treat yourself like, well, shit, if I was me, 11-11. If I was me, I would take me out to dinner and this and that and that. But you're not, you're not going to complain about it. You're going to be like, okay, well... I love you anyways. It was a kind gesture that mattered. Thank you. Then next Valentine's Day roll around. You don't get shit. Oh, bro. They gonna love me anyways. No, motherfucker. And so now when you like, dude, like, okay, I expect something. Now it's Pisces is strict. They want too much. They asking for too much. Like, no, it ain't even that. It's just that I know what I deserve and I know what you should give me. And I feel like that's kind of what you could be going through too because maybe you're you're in this energy where you're not settling for less as well you're not settling for less and yeah it could be a little bit burnt on you because you know you are simple you know you you don't mind certain things but when people take advantage of you then you got to get on their ass then you got to stand on their neck then you got to be a little bit firm 12 12 then you got to be, be a little bit of firm on what you what your value but you shouldn't have to do that <laughs> they should have really just knew that from the beginning. So I feel like that's what's going on with you too, though. I feel like I'm reading both energies right now. Pisces, I'm reading you and I'm reading this person that you're dealing with because now they looking at you like, well, you you strict, you firm, you, <coughs> you standing on shit. But it's like, well, yeah, because when I was nice and gentle and kind... You feel me? Like I didn't get a dinner. Shit, I was I had a dress ready. Okay? Don't get the don't get the Pisces started because we like to dress. We like to get we we like to be I ain't gonna say Pisces is social butterflies, but I feel like mostly you guys are like you just like to be pampered. You like the nice things, like you just like comfort you like you love love so it don't even gotta be that like if a motherfucker a motherfucker don't even have to take you out to dinner if a motherfucker has sit there and, and gave their time and patience and to make a dinner for you and be real nice maybe clean up the house bring you a bubble bath like it's just your day even because you know it ain't all about the money either like i said again it's the small things it's the appreciation shit a motherfucker could come and give you diamonds jewels and all that and run back out the door. And you're going to be like, well, I don't want this. <laughs> Somebody could feel like you're difficult. But you're not. You're not difficult. It's the little things that make you want the love. You want the love. Okay? So I feel like somebody, and that's what could be going on. That's why you not with the bullshit. Motherfucker trying to offer you bullshit. They trying to offer you this and that and that. Somebody could be trying to offer you jewels, diamonds. I'm hearing a ring. I'm hearing, I don't got a fancy car, diamond ring. I don't know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hold on. And live in me. Because anything I have is yours. You can have anything I got. Work my fingers all the way to the bone. 
da 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 But you like, I just want you. Shit, could you put a bow tie on top of your head and come as the gift? You know, <clears throat> I just want you. I ain't asked for all that. You know, but you just like, I feel like this person wants to give you that though. But they don't understand that it's the simple things with you. They want to give you that, though, is what I'm getting. Like, what I'm hitting up on is that they want this is the type of person who wants to wine and dine you. They want to celebrate you. They want to take you out. They know you. Okay, hold on, Pisces. Because let me, hold on. Because hold on. Because hold on. They know you. They like, girl, boy, I know you like this and that and that and that. But then you like... They know that you may be settled for less. And so that's why this person, oh my word. So y'all clashing. Because you like, just give me your heart, your attention, your love. And this person like, well, I know you want that. But they feel like you're settling for that. Because this person might not have a lot. And you and they might know, you might know this person doesn't have a lot or whatever. So you're like, why don't you just come and talk to me? But then this person's like, I want to fucking shower you in gifts. That's what I want to do. So you can have somebody where y'all just speak two different love languages. This person wants to shower you in gifts. They want to celebrate you. They want to take you out there and dinner and stuff. And they know that's what you like. But you also, they need to also understand that you're a gentle soul. Just talking to the Pisces and just being there for them, but just giving your time. Because time is illusion. Time, you can't never, you can't get time back. Once it's gone, it's done. You can't get it back. Tomorrow will never come back. So you like, if you, if you give me your time, you expect, that means a lot to me. You took the time out to cook a dinner. You took the time out to do the dishes, to clean the house. You took the time out to, shit, wash the kids while I go get my nails done. You feel me? Some shit like that. But I feel like this person, I don't know. I feel like they trying to, I don't know. This person, I feel like it's just a miscommunication. Because I don't feel like this person is not willing to do that either. Maybe they just having a hard time getting stuff out. So, in in in, in in reality, this person was like, you know what? How about instead of coming to talk, because I don't know how to talk, Pisces, or I can't find the words to say. And somebody can't even find the words to just say that. <clears throat> they can't even find the words to say, I can't find the words to say. It's like, they feel like you have too many expectations for them, but I feel like it's really simple. Somebody here is overthinking. And, you know... This person like, well, instead of me doing all of that talking and all that shit. <laughs> this person like, instead of me doing all that talking and all that shit, how about I just pay for you to go to the spa for the day, get your hair and your nails done? Even though you want your nails done, you want your hair done, you want to go to the spa, you want to do this, you want to, you want, you know, whatever, whatever gift they're going to give you, you, you feel like you will love it, but then you like, well, I want to feel you. So, I also get Pisces, you could be used to people just throwing things at you. Because you, maybe you are material, like, I ain't gonna say materialistic, but you like things. You like nice things. <clears throat> and when you go out in public, you can dress nice. And people also, they mistake your identity, they mistake your identity a lot. Or if not that... Not necessarily with the nice things you wear, that they just mistake your identity all over together, all together, okay? Because I also feel like for some of you guys, people could mistake you as being mean or timid, like Eva, okay? They can mistake, um, like you're like, I'm here, a firecracker, but that ain't even that. You just firm. 1919. I feel like you just stand on your shit. And I also feel like Pisces. I don't know. It's just a lot of misunderstood. Like people look at you and they be like, like it, like, like I'm a I'ma use Rihanna. And I don't know Rihanna personally. But I'm a, I'ma just go off of what I see. But 
Y'all would look at Rihanna and y'all would think that she's very, um, because y'all know Rihanna is a Pisces. Y'all would think that she's very, um, you know, because they always talk about Riri, Riri, you know, and, and Riri's naturally beautiful and she don't wear a lot of makeup. Y'all know she's not in the scene that much. Her relationship was in the scene, but it wasn't like for no bad reasons. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but... We know for right now, ain't nothing going on. Like, you get what I'm saying? Ain't, like, Riri, they are very subtle. They are very calm. They, they're they a, a, a low-key, I would call that a low-key relationship. Only reason that relationship is even seen or out of public is because probably paparazzis is all around them or whatever, taking pictures or whatever. Because it's Riri. Riri is literally humble. She's quiet. She's herself. She don't do too much. Okay, but when you see her, you like, damn, she got a nice body, or damn, she's so pretty, or damn, you might feel like she's very high maintenance, but then when you, when she open her mouth, her voice is so soft and timid and gentle. I feel like that's what's going on here. Like, I'm going to even bring up Boosie. Boosie kept throwing himself at Riri, okay? Y'all definitely could be dealing with a, Li a Libra, ASAP Rocky. That's Libra. Uh, uh, Scorpio, that's that's uh, Boosie. Boosie kept throwing himself at Riri, okay? Kept, but she didn't want that. She don't want no man. You feel me? Y'all didn't know about ASAP Rocky and Riri until they was already together. Y'all ain't hear about ASAP Rocky throwing no shots at Riri. Y'all ain't hear none of that. They was already together, she don't want, she didn't want that. She didn't want all that. Because they, I see this video. Uh, 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 uh. I feel sad. I see this video, Scorpio. I see this video, Boosie. He was like, I take good care of my, my kids. I cook, I clean. I do everything. Riri. <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> like trying to make yourself known. But it's like, she didn't want that. Maybe if you would have took a different approach with her, you would have actually got the prize. You feel me? And their relationship, her, and even to this day, her baby, everything is real subtle. Her baby not out. You don't see her doing, being extra dramatic with her child, being extra dramatic with her pregnancy. and You know what I'm saying? Actually really low-key, real humble. But y'all take that however resonate, man. I feel like it's just a lot of miss. A lot of being misunderstood between you and this person, okay? Um, I feel like you guys should take the time to sit back and talk. I feel like you just want to feel this person's true colors. You want to feel the love. You can't feel the love through no items. It's like, sit down and look me in my eyes and talk to me. Then, once I feel the love shit, then we go out to dinner. You feel me? Then this and that and that. That ain't nothing. Because nine times out of ten, Pisces, you could take yourself out to dinner. You feel me? You like, I can go out to dinner. That ain't shit. I do that all the time. I go get my nails done. That ain't shit. I spend this and that and that. This on myself. That ain't shit. But what I'm asking for is love. What I want is the realness. Balance. Balance. <laughs> you said that's what I want. I feel like Aries is very significant here. You guys could have had some type of argument, disagreement, or maybe y'all just disagree disagreeing on certain things, or maybe this is because Valentine's Day is coming up. Some of you guys also feel like somebody never stood up for you or never took the initiative or never, never was really there. It's like they never even really showed you. That's your thing, though, with this person. You, like, you never really showed me shit. Like, you could have been in a relationship with somebody for a long time and you just, like, well, when are you going to show me, like, your love? I'm here, Love Jones. See, that's the fuck I'm talking about. They go to Pisces. 
Love Jones. They go to Pisces. That shit was real subtle, real sweet, real however you know what i'm saying very po poetic very gentle very nice loving caring okay take a motherfucker out to go listen to some poetry to go dance to go do something you know what i'm saying like we got a magician in the reverse in the bottle what's this you feel like it's manipulation You feel like a person can't give you their true colors, their true self. They can't show me the, you know what I'm saying? If, if, person, if a person don't have that love, you feel me? That love Jones, that love inside of them, that gentleness, then you definitely don't even want it. Because it's like, we get, well, how are we going to see eye to eye? I know I'm this person. I know I'm this type of person. How could you be on this level with me? <laughs> be gentle, calm, nice, timid. But I do feel like it's a little bit of indecisiveness, too. Maybe you're trying to feel... I feel like you're trying to make your mind up about something. Like, you like, is it manipulation? I feel like you're trying to be understanding as well. Because you like, well, in a form... This is what I'm getting. Because in a form, you feel like somebody could be trying to do certain things to just make you happy. But it's like, do you love me? Like I said, love is kind, love is patient, love is gentle. Okay? Love is compromising. Love is loyalty. Love is honest. They never said love is money, love is jewels, love is diamonds, love is none of that. Okay? So I feel like that's what's going on here. You like it's not about that. It's like, yeah, we can do that for each other, but it's like let me let me see your let me see your colors first. See Pisces dig deep down in the soul. You like let me see your colors first. Let me see your true colors. Let me see the real you. Why you hiding? Go, can y'all get out of here? I'm doing a reading. Y'all know that. Get out of here and put that toy down. Leave, just leave her. Diva, go back in the room. Just don't worry about it. I'm hungry. Noel, go back in your room now. No, bye. Goodbye. You on punishment because you don't know how to act. Stop talking. Go back in the room. Yeah, Noelle on punishment. She thinks it's a game. <coughs> but I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's just miscommunication. I feel. I also feel like this person feel like you trying to control them. Because somebody could really have a difficulty of speaking. I really have a difficulty of expressing their feelings. And you like, well... It's like... This person trying to say... You know I love you. So why you want me to say that's like get your butt Okay. You think I'll play. Get out of here. Hold on, y'all. to stay in the crib, you mad. Okay, I'm back. I do apologize about that, but she think I'm playing. I gotta stand on her, too. So she know I'm not playing with her. You gonna stay up in there on the weekends because you be doing too much. This girl wake up doing too much, y'all. I know it'll be doing too much. But, anyways, I feel like you could, I feel like this person is like, well, you know I love you. You just trying to force me to say something. But I feel like when it comes to a relationship, though, it's just like if y'all go through a relationship. See, this person could have been in, like, 
relationships and families and stuff like that, they ain't never been with a Pisces like you. Like, if they been with a different kind of Pisces, it wasn't like you. Like, <laughs> but I feel like all Pisces is the same. Like, we want to feel that love. So, it's like being in a relationship and, like, y'all do stuff together. The relationship is good, but it's like you feel like y'all just existing, Okay? You like, where's the love? Where's the compassion? Where's the uncondition, like the unconditional love? Like, where's that? Okay. I feel like that's what's going on here. And, but I feel like this person could have grew up in a family where they didn't do all that. Or they been with somebody where they didn't do all that. Maybe this person did stuff for them because they love them. And they did stuff for that person because they love that person. Or whatever. Or maybe that's how they just show they love to that person. <laughs> By doing stuff for them. But. You not like that. Like they could have been in a family where they barely said I love you. Where they barely. You know they probably didn't even say I love you. Or it was hard. Or it was difficult. Y'all ever been like that? Like, been had a family or been around people where it was hard for people to express their emotions and their feelings and stuff? That's why you start with your kids early and let them express themselves or whatever. But, you know, show them how to express themselves. Because I feel like that really do goes a long way. Because you want people to express and be comfortable. They could have grew up in a family where they could say how they felt. They got in trouble, you know. I let even to this day, if Noel wants to say something to me right now, <clears throat> she can still say what she gotta say, but she's still gonna lay up in that crib because she's on punishment because she was being a bad baby. But if she can tell me how she feel, like numerous amount of times, I keep walking past that room because I was cleaning up the house. She like, I'm apologize. I'm apologize. I say, okay, Noel. You can apologize, but you stay in the crib because you did what you did. I'm, I'm, but that's on me because I'm staying firm on her. Because you're not just going to be able to be like, oh, I apologize and it's just done. No. <coughs> but I feel like this person could have been raised around a family where... They didn't express themselves like that. They wasn't open to free themselves like, or even have emotions. It's like you couldn't say how you said. That would be, that'd be counted as disrespect or talking back or... What? I'm doing a video. What? Where are the spoons at? I just had a hunt. Get the spoon over. Wash it off. I had on my yogurt. The spoon's in there. I mean, that girl and that one don't look for nothing. Keep coming here and interrupt my video. But, um, yeah. I feel like that's what's going on here. Yeah, overcoming obstacles, chariot. I do feel like you guys are going to have a victory, though. I feel like things are going to work out. Look, they go to success. Look, I just said it. I feel like things are going to work out. I feel like sometimes you guys maybe need to slow down and actually talk. And actually communicate and see eye to eye on the level. That's where that grown up list come in at. Look, did I just say that? Did I just say that? 33, 33. Y'all don't mind my hair either because this is the part of the time I do it. But anyways, look. <laughs> 33, 33. Like, I feel like lack of ideas, okay? That's what's going on here. Somebody, y'all don't got enough clarity within each other. Y'all need to tell. But the, I feel like that's what you're trying to do, Pisces. You like to see if we tackle shit like this in the beginning, we won't have to end up at this point we at now where there's miscommunication. Let me get to know you and you get to know me. Let's get on that level of the eye to eye. So somebody here, I feel like you're trying to take the lead, but at the same time, Pisces, this person doesn't want you to take the lead, or they're, maybe they're bothered by how you're taking the lead, okay? They can feel like you're forcing them. They can feel like you're forcing them, or you're, I don't know. 
you are acting like Eva. Okay, from deliver from deliver us from Eva. Ooh, excuse me. Hold on. <coughs> They feel like you acting like evil from delivering us for evil. But it's just a teamwork. You just trying to compromise. You just trying to meet on the same path. And I feel like you see where y'all can make things better. And that's what you're what you trying to do. I'm here, happy wife, happy life. Why um devil in a blue dress with um Denzel Washington just popped up on the TV? So I feel like this person feels like, yeah, they got issues from their past. That's why. This person has issues from their past. So I feel like you're going to have to be very patient with this person. And yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Y'all could have even got to an argument about this. Or there could have been like a disagreement that was like unnecessary. You just like, well, I'm just trying to say this. And they like, well, I'm just trying to. They feel like you being difficult. It's like, let me love you energy. Or let me do this for you. Okay, why you want to just let me do this for you? Or just let me show you. But you just trying to show them like, dude. You do want that, though. You do want all the nice stuff. But you want to be loved, too. You like, shit, fuck all that shit if I ain't no love in it. I'm here. I don't want to be loved. I don't want to be loved. I just want a quickie. Don't bite marks, no snatches. No scratches and no hickeys. You feel like somebody here with this king of Mars. you feel like somebody just trying to get some booty or something. They just, that I say that though, they just trying to make you happy. You like, well, you know, if you give me this and that and that, that that's going to make me happy, which Pisces, you love hard and you reciprocate. So somebody here, I don't know, because somebody here, you got to think about it though. <laughs> You love hard and you reciprocate. So when you, if if a motherfucker give you all these jewels and diamonds and, and pearls and shit, you thinking like, well, what are you expecting from me? Diamonds, jewels, money, cars and shit. But then you like, that's a form of manipulation. You doing it because you want to get you want something out of it you're doing it because you're doing to what you're giving me the gifts and shit which is nice but you're only doing it because you want something out of the situation it's like well i know if i give her this well she if i pay for her hair and nails and um her spa day i know she she gonna give me this and that and that because i did that so she gonna give me this and that and that they know you're, oh, okay, fuck them. Because they know you're fair and they know you're equal. And they trying to use something to get something. And I feel like that's why you like, no. That's exactly why you like, no, nope, I'm cool. Yeah. And I feel like this person going to get some delayed news. Now, for some of y'all, this person think that they're going to do something, they're going to get some booty. Goodbye. I don't know what they thought. Like... Pisces, that's the reason why Pisces take their time and they slow down and they look and they observe shit because it be shit like this that be hidden in between the lines. <coughs> and I feel like that's what you trying to figure out. Like, you feel like this could be this or some of y'all are realizing that this is that. Like, no, nah, motherfucker. You, you giving me, you taking me out for Valentine's Day and doing all this or whatever. You gonna take me out on a date. Cause so for some of y'all, y'all are sex, y'all are sex beast. Like y'all good. See, look, Libra. Some of y'all is a sex beast. Okay, that was in my other deck though. Out those cards was messed up, and I had um, was rearranging them, and I actually pulled out some, and I seen that. But I'll put it up. Uh, I wanted to put it somewhere where y'all could see in my other cards, but whatever. 
But, um, for y'all don't think I'm just randomly pulling this shit. No, nah, I was fixing the cards. I be doing all kind of shit while I'm doing my readings. I be getting downloads. Clarity, look, clarity. It's clear, it's Claritin D, but I said clarity. That's the fuck I see. Clarity, literally. You're getting, you're, yeah. For some of y'all, this video gonna be confirmation for y'all. You gonna be like, oh, yeah. Motherfucker try to play games. Cause like, like I said, motherfucker be taking you on a date, on a picnic and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's Valentine's Day, so let me do something nice. Let me do this and that and that. So you could get uh some booty or something. Motherfuck. They think you eat. They got the Pisces fucked up. You like, no. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. And now I'm finna pull from my tea deck, too. <coughs> Recognition. You're recognizing something here. Or this person gonna have to come correct, just period. You could also be celebrated out in the community as well, Pisces. Some of these motherfuckers know that. They like, well, if I don't get them this diamonds and jewels, cause I feel like they want all these fancy things. If I don't, if I don't, if I don't do that, then um somebody else will. That's another reason why they giving you all this stuff as well. <coughs> Some y'all, I feel for some of y'all though, somebody wants some booty. So they gonna come in and try to be all sweet and all this and that and that so they can have sex. What else high power? I'm gonna say for my Scorpio. You definitely gonna be dealing with a Scorpio. You got a Scorpio in your chart. I read them with them before. Okay. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, bitch, evil could never. Uh, says, can I have you, please? I feel like this is talking about your body, though. It's like, can I have all of you? See, this person wants all of you. Or you could be asking this of this person, Pisces. Okay, of course. Gang, gang. Eyelashes. Somebody likes when you get dressed up, when you wear your makeup, when you look nice or whatever. They just specifically like your eyelashes or your eyes. Shine bright like a damn your eyes. It's something familiar about your eyes. Like um it's a light that shines within your eyes. Like this person could like looking in your eyes. Yeah. I feel like something here, this is enlightenment for somebody. This is a message from higher power or ancestors. When that card come out in my T deck, that's my high priestess card. Cause it's like that's confirmation. Like high power said let them love you. Okay. So I do feel like higher power wants you to be wants this I feel like you guys just have to talk. Ugly as fuck. I feel like that's this situation. Ooh, STD. Now, what the fuck is that? Now, this situ now for some of y'all, this situation can get ugly because somebody got an STD. Oh, here, skin virus. <coughs> Something with the skin. 
At the bottom of the deck is bitch, evil could never. So, I don't know, y'all. Maybe somebody's trying to give you an STD or stalking your house. What the fuck is this? First real love. So this person could be stalking your house. They could be want to talk to you or compromise with you or they want to say something to you. If they, eh. Yo, I got a stalker. This person really wants to be with you. With that let spirit said, let them love you. This person really wants to be with you. It's just they got to figure out how to fuck the... And then if this person got an STD, so... Now, this person could have had an STD in the past and gave it to you. This person could have an STD. Now, this situation could have got ugly because of an STD. Something here. And I've got soulmate. Spirit says your soulmate. And it got make me come. I knew that. So, that's what's going on here. This person gave you an STD. Or this person has an STD and they want to have sex. Look at that. Literally, y'all, look, I'm turning it around. I cheated on you with them. And with that being said, I'm done. That's what this whole, that's what this is about. I want to ask one more thing, though. What's their true intentions? We got Dreadhead. I'm watching you. They trying to, <laughs> if they don't have dreads, then you have dreads. Somebody here got dreads. Or um, free forms is what I'm hearing. But you know what I'm getting? I'm hitting up on that this person is trying to use sex to control you. Okay. They want to build a future. But I feel like they using sex or other... I Okay, not just sex, but other items to control you as well. It's like, well, if I buy her a diamond bracelet, it can make up for all the past. I don't know how to just come out and say I love her, but... Or I don't know how to just come out and say I love him, but... I know... I can suck his dick real good and he'll be happy. But you like, no, I'm cool. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with you. Wow, look at that. Twin flame. It just fell out. So this could be your twin flame and your soulmate. That's powerful. I want to ask again. And then at the and on the other side we got reader loves to learn so I feel like somebody is trying to learn you. <laughs> I feel like you guys just need to compromise. That's why Spirit said, uh, "Let them love you." Spirit wants y'all together. Y'all have got to see eye to eye. This is another messy situation. <laughs> I feel like this is continuing from that that shit that reading from the other day, from yesterday. Now, let's see. What's the... I asked what's the true intentions, and that's what's coming out. They watch you because they want to build a future with you. Now, I'm going to ask, um, and the card already popped out. I was asking, uh, what's the outcome of this situation? Affected by karmic. This person has traumas because of the people that they was with. <coughs> Like I said, they can have an STD. They got past traumas from dealing with people. They got bad memories and bad habits. Like I said, they could be accustomed to a certain type of way. What's the outcome of this situation? And I feel like these situations is going to get in a problem. Whatever was a, took place, it's affecting them. But it's affected by the karmic because it's, 
is rubbing off. It's going to rub off a little bit on y'all relationship. Y'all going to have to really sit down and talk and compromise. What's the outcome of this situation? Wigs. They want to buy you wigs. They want to buy you wigs. They want to buy you hair. <laughs> they want to buy you hair because they... I'm t this person, they love the way I just keep getting like you want your hair done or you want some of that and that. And this person wants you to want your hair done. They like that you love all that shit, but it's like, baby, let me just buy you. You know what I'm saying? This person ain't going to be. Baby, just let me just. You like, well, do you love me natural? Do you love me with my hair sticking up? Do you love me with my, my afro? Do you love me with my braids, my wig braids? They like, baby, I, 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 I. They don't know how to say it. I don't want you to, I want you to wear your wigs. I, I, they don't know how to say, damn, this person don't know how to talk. They don't know how to just say, like, can you, can you wear this kind of hair or this and that and that? Or can you, I like it when you wear your long hair. Or I like it where you wear short hair. Or I like it when you switch your hair up. But instead, this person, you come home, is is hair on the bed. This that type of person. You come home, is weave on the bed. You like okay now you like well shit like damn you feel like damn this motherfucker like get your hair done yeah your shit look a hot mess oh my word y'all need to talk y'all need to talk what's this card on my I want to be like you so I feel like this person is open to learning or being on that soft gentle side with you it's just how to get there is where they at with it. What's at the bottom of the deck? Healthy Yoni. <laughs> I'm done. Whether they gave you an STD or this person gave them an STD that they was dealing with. But they feel like your Yoni is healthy. Okay? <laughs> they emphasis on that. They like, man, I know you ain't out here having sex with everybody. I know this and that and that and that. You deserve to be... You know, you deserve to be bedazzled. You deserve to have jewels or whatever. They could have been giving that to somebody who was nasty. Yeah, I'm here, lady in the streets, but a freak in the bed. And with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. Thanks for chilling with it's your girl, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Sitting in love and light, and y'all talking compromise, okay? Y'all going to have to really talk. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye.